Plant City family, what is up? It is Art, Desi, Rose, and Bobby here in the frozen food section of Whole Foods. I thought it'd be fun to do a video all about the healthiest foods to find in the frozen food aisle. Because normally when you think in your head about frozen foods, you don't think about healthy items, right? But the game has really changed the last decade. And if you shop at a place like Whole Foods, it's gonna have some next level stuff. Might not be available everywhere, but I'll try to point out what I've seen at other grocery stores too. So before we get going, do us a favor, like, subscribe, share, but more importantly, bell icon is right below the video. You're gonna to wanna to enable all notifications because as soon as we go live every seven days a week, this is January, we wanna get a push notification and the live streams on Friday where Rose cooks with me are a lot of fun. All right, let's start shopping. I saw something out of the corner of my eye right here. Check this out. We think about breakfast items and normally pork sausage can be really, really dirty, but there's some great options here and I really do love Applegate, and I would go for the no sugar original pork. And it is humanely raised pork, which is very important. It's not organic or non-GMO, which is a bit of a bummer, but look at this ingredients. We're just talking about a few ingredients, pork, sea salt, seasonings, and I love the fact, once again, that it's no sugar. So, because it's no sugar, that means it's paleo sausage, which whenever, anytime I eat pork, including bacon, I get sugar free. Um, the nice thing about this is that it's certified humane. The thing is, pork sausage and pig farming in general is a very dirty business. A lot of times it's factory farmed hogs that never go outside, treated really badly, and eat an exclusive grain of, uh, exclusive diet of GMO feed. I wish these were non-GMO, but, oh, here we go, right here, look at this. If you want to trade to uh, chicken sausage, look at this. Chicken and maple sausage here. This one has a little probably maple syrup. But, let's see. Yep, a little bit of cane sugar here. How much? Three grams per three links. That's not bad, you guys, right? I'd actually rather get this because it's organic, meaning the chickens are not having GMO, versus the no sugar ones, because for me, a non-GMO diet is very, very important. So, we'll put that one back. Just something to think about when you're having breakfast. And then we come over here. This must be new, too. And man, Applegate, they should be paying me for this video, right? Look at this art. They have now organic grass-fed blended burgers in beef and turkey. And I was actually blown away when I saw this because it's 100% organic and 100% grass-fed. Not always easy to find when it comes to grass-fed beef. But look at this. Number one, USDA organic. Humanely raised, of course, when it's grass-fed. But look at the ingredients, right? It's just grass-fed beef organic mushrooms and rosemary extract. That's it. The cool thing about this, it's a nice way to sneak veggies into your kid's diet or even your diet. And mushrooms are the perfect accompaniment to beef because mushrooms are beefy and have natural umame. When you blend it into a burger, it almost makes the burger taste better, I think. It adds more moisture because the mushrooms are like 90% water. And it's just a really, really tasty organic grass-fed product. Wow, very, very, very cool. I see what, I mean, look, the frozen section is changing. We have organic grass-fed patties here. Very, very interesting stuff right here. Let's flip sides and go over here. I just saw this before we started the video, and this is brand new. It's not something I would necessarily eat, but come in here, Art. This is Rayo's. I love their marinara sauce, you guys know that. This is their meat lasagna. And what's cool about it is that it's very clean. So. The one item I don't like is because it's lasagna, it's made with uh, wheat, and it's not whole wheat, but everything else is real. Italian tomatoes, ricotta cheese, onion powder, garlic powder, olive oil, not expelled or pressed garbage. So if you want a traditional lasagna, I would get this because it's literally a homemade lasagna frozen. When I eat pasta, I eat either uh, gluten-free, whole grain, or whole wheat pasta. I don't eat the enriched wheat, but that's really, really cool. And then we see Amy's here. We talked about this in the frozen food video at Walmart. 99% of what Amy makes is unbelievable. And if you're gluten-free, this is one of your only healthy-ish options for mac and cheese. What's cool about this is that it's organic. I don't love the fact that it's made with exclusively white rice flour, because that's a simple carbohydrate. But look at this. It's a really small ingredient list with real ingredients, real butter. Um, so we've talked about this before. When I see gluten-free products, ideally I want to see whole gluten-free grains like brown rice, not white rice, like sorghum, millet, 
amaranth, quinoa. These are complex carbohydrates, but a lot of gluten-free products will use tapioca starch, potato starch, cassava. Those are simple carbs that offer no nutrition. I understand this is a pasta, right? Um, and they have limited options, but given the fact that the other ingredients are primo, I'm actually okay with it. And then right next to it, Dr. Prager. We're still, all we have to do is Google search it. Are. We're trying to figure out if it's a guy or girl. I've said it's a guy for ages, but part of me thinks it's a girl. Someone leave a comment down below. It's a, it's a what? Family. It's a family? Oh, but is it a guy or a girl, Dr. Prager? Female and male, husband and wife. Oh, it's a husband wife combo? Oh, that's what Jesse just said. Oh, there's two doctors. We are Dr. Pragers, a multi-generational family of heart surgeons. Wow, so we don't know. This is very, very strange. Okay, interesting. So, A, make a general great frozen product. Maybe it's a, uh, a veggie burger, what I talked about before. But this is something that's good for the kids. It's a kale frozen item, and it's kale potatoes Expeller pressed canola, non-GMO. I'd love to th if they use avocado oil. Kind of, and potatoes aren't the best, but kale is way better. But with this kale puffs, the story isn't necessarily the same because look, they put potatoes first, then kale. I really want to see kale, which is a superfood high in vitamin, vitamin C, A, and uh, K, above potatoes. But everything else is good here. These are very similar if you're an Aldi shopper to all these frozen uh, kale potato bites and I think sweet potato. They're just as good and they're probably cheaper. So for the most part, Dr. Prager does it right. All right, let's come over here for a second. It's really interesting. So like potato and French fries are not healthy, but if you're gonna eat them, it's really interesting. There's this brand here called Alexa. And organic is great when you have potatoes. Potatoes are a dirty dozen member. They have to be organic. But this is a really sexy, seducing package. You might just buy it thinking it's good. In my opinion, it would be much better if, can anyone see what I see? The oil. Yeah, it's organic vegetable oil, which is great, but it has to say expeller pressed. Otherwise, it's still highly processed. Organic, yes, but still highly processed. So one of the cool things about shopping here at Whole Foods is that for the 365 brand, they always use expeller pressed organic, which is really nice and it's usually cheaper. So here's there organic crinkle cut fries. Once again, non-GMO because it's organic. And look what kind of oil they're using for theirs. It's expeller pressed canola oil. In my opinion, miles better than the Alexa. So I would grab that for sure. And then something Art and I were talking about before. What is a steak cut French fry? We know steak frites and those are smaller. Can someone say, because when I have a steak, I don't have French fries like that. I think of a baked potato, a mashed potato. Steak cut, someone, what's going on here? All right, let's go over here. I wanna look at these uh, frozen waffles here and see if I can find one, because it's very, very hard to find any. So we have a lot of healthy-ish looking waffle options, and immediately I'm drawn to this right here. Birch Benders, we've talked about it. They have one of my favorite uh, keto and paleo pancake mixes, but this is their paleo toaster waffle. And when I eat stuff like this. I don't eat grains at home. Desi and I have a paleo uh, gluten-free keto kitchen, but we do like having paleo uh, desserts or waffles or stuff like that. And the reason why this is paleo is because the ingredients are really top-notch, except for one. So tiger nut flour is one of the highest uh, fat, lowest carb nuts in the world. Cassava, I'm okay with a little bit of that. Coconut flour is great. See, they're using high oleic sunflower oil, which is tricky. So if you have bought the Bobby Approved ebook shopping guide, you'll know that high oleic is good. It means the uh, oil, in this case, sunflower oil, has a heart healthy or fatty acid profile. But high oleic needs to be followed with expeller press. So because this isn't high oleic expeller press, it's not ideal. But it's still one of the better ones here. I'll show you what I mean. By the way, I'll put the Amazon link down below. Over like 2,000 people have bought it so so far. All of the information from every video we've ever made is on the ebook shopping guide. It's gonna update about once every three months for free. And uh, you can access it on your phone. You can search any ingredient, any product. It'll tell you if it's Bobby approved, why and why not. Lots of information on there. We look at something like Vans. Art asked me, are they using recycled shoes to make Vans? And I said, I hope not. This is the original gluten-free waffle here. 
And see, the ingredients are very different. So this is not paleo, but they're using brown rice flour, I'm good with. But then they're using potato starch, simple carb, rice flour, simple carb, soy flour. Is it non-GMO soy flour? Yes, but I still don't like soy. And then they're using expeller pressed canola oil, which is decent. And then everything else is actually not too bad. So overall, this is probably one of your better options, but I would just go for the birch benders. I'm okay not having the, uh, the oil be ideal because it's paleo. They're using tiger nut flour and it's really high quality. But I feel like there's room for improvement, but that's the best we can do here. Let's go talk about, hey Jesse, should we talk about uh, pizza real quick? Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Oh, Jesse's got the Bobby approved Rebel chocolate drink. I like your style, yeah. babe. Did Rose fall asleep? <laughs> Rose was way overdue for a nap. Take a peek, Art. Let's see how she's sleeping bare. Oh, she was way overtired. Nothing like a stroll around Whole Foods to really get her asleep. Okay, so, so good. By far, if we're just talking healthiest pizza ever, it's gonna be this company right here because it's grain free. And what's so cool about it is that it's not just grain free, it's amazing ingredients. So this is Capello's, it's expensive, right? This is $9.99, it's super pricey, right? But I think it's worth it because the crust, look at these ingredients the crust is made with. Cage-free eggs, it's not gonna be like pasture raised, but almond flour, a little bit of arrowroot and cassava, coconut milk, coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil. Look at those ingredients and the toppings, all thriller no filler real pepperoni real cheese and look it's not low carb but that's a clean profile here there's no added sugar so i once again when i eat uh pizza i try to eat a paleo gluten-free and gluten-free pizza crust if you go through the grocery store sometimes are loaded with tons of simple starches this is high in almond flour that's what you want to see now if you don't care about eating grains which i understand not everyone's like that your other option is Amy, right? Amy just makes the highest quality traditional pizza. So I look at Amy's here, I'll pull the regular cheese. It's gonna be made with flour, but everything's organic. So this is Amy's cheese pizza here. And even though you might be like, why are you talking good? It's not made with whole wheat flour. Well, you don't see many whole wheat frozen uh, pizzas but it's organic, which is important because wheat can be sprayed with a lot of pesticides, including uh, Roundup, and you don't want that. And everything else is really clean, expeller pressed, high oleic. So there we go. It's high oleic plus expeller pressed and extra virgin olive oil. Amy really does it right. 99% of the stuff she makes is unbelievable, including her burritos right there. And then we should probably end babe, on uh, ice cream, right? Oh my God. So what's the healthiest ice cream? Well, when I think about healthy ice cream, I think about low to no sugar, and I think about organic or ideally grass-fed uh, milk because a lot of these can be pumped with tons of sugar. So the one we know the most is probably Halo Top, right? Halo Top is nice because it's low fat, low sugar, and they use stevia and erythritol here. The problem is if you get any other flavor besides chocolate or vanilla, they all have natural flavors, which I don't believe in. So this is good, we all know about that. But did you know about this brand right here called Slim Twin? Check this out, Art. This is from the Three Twins family. So Three Twins is the same as Maxine's down here. That's one of the twins or sisters. And this is the other one. So this is Slim Twin. And what I love about it is that it's organic. Halo Top is not. So it has organic dairy, meaning there's no GMO in the feed. Look at the ingredients if I take the, the frost off of here. Okay, so we have non-fat organic milk. We have real egg yolks. We have a touch of cane sugar, but we also have monk fruit. And if we look at this, there's two third cups serving, which is generous. Only has, wow, this is really frosty, two and a half grams of fat, total sugars of seven, but 17 carbs minus eight is nine, net carbs minus sugar alcohols is two. Seven net carbs in a two third cup serving guys this is fantastic and because it's organic this is best in class low fat low sugar low carb ice cream on the market 
I know there's other brands. Like you go to the, this is the sugar-free or keto section here, like Enlightened, uh, Rebel. Once again, those are good, but you have to get the chocolate or vanilla. Otherwise, they have natural flavors. And I just a special shout out for this, and you can't find it everywhere. I know Walmart has it too. If you're dairy-free and want sugar-free, there's only one option on the entire market, and it's so delicious. So Delicious is the only company that makes dairy-free and no sugar added. The only qualm I have is that every flavor here has natural flavors, see? But I will give them a pass because it's everything else is clean and there's no alternative there. So that's it. Where did Dusty and Rose go? Ah, they're gone. All right, that's it, you guys. Like I said, it helps if you shop at a place like Whole Foods, but I'd say well over half the stuff we just talked about is available at Walmart too. Frozen food section has gone next level recently because when I grew up back in my day, it was nothing like this. So let me know what kind of video you guys want to see next. We have some great ideas talking about maybe like budget hauls, talking about uh, ingredients to avoid, uh, top 10 worst ingredients, but you guys let us know. Like, subscribe, share, all those good things. The only way our channel grows is by you spreading the love with Art and I and Rose and Desi. Wherever they are, we'll see you very soon. Until then, we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace, y'all.